Happy Thursday. My name is Phil Osophical. I'm here in Happy Valley, Pennsylvania. And when I was about six years old, my mother taught me a very important lesson. And what she taught me was about a difference between being startled and just kind of being jumped, jumped up by something and as opposed to being scared or being fearful. And so what she taught me was that in a situation where I'm just sitting on the couch as a little youngster and the doorbell rings and it just kind of jumps me for a second, there's no need to be frightened. It's just a sense of being startled. So that's the first concept. Whereas if I was in the woods walking on a trail and I see a full grown black bear, that's probably a need to be frightened or to be fearful. Um, and so she taught me this difference between being just startled and being scared. So that way, um, when I was in a situation where maybe just a cat runs by, I can be like, oh, mom, that just startled me. You know, that didn't scare me. There's no need to really like get flustered. It's just like a quick shaking. And um, just having that distinction between being startled and being scared is very empowering because there's no need to, to, to lump everything into one category. And so this video is about coming up with new ways to conceptualize things, new metaphors to open up better doors, as I like to say. Um, so just coming up with these new stories and ways of kind of framing the world so that we can understand it better and better communicate it to other people. Because I think once we have these new forms of language and ways of explaining things, then we can move into the world that we want to live in. But just as when I was a little kid, if I didn't have that distinction between being startled and being scared, then I would probably just feel that sense of fear every time the doorbell rang or something like that. Um, so another way to explain this is, um, well, for example, right now I'm wearing my monkey suit. As you can see, my, uh, my 50 trillion cells are, are shining here. Um, and I sometimes feel a sense of being self-conscious, just not having a shirt on, or think people might not take me seriously. But I have this nice uh, little concept from Dr. Seuss, which I, which I use, which is the ones who mind don't matter and the ones who matter don't mind. So basically, I don't care if I don't have a shirt on because I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not trying to impress, I'm just trying to express. There's another one. Um, so it's like once we have these new ways of explaining things and conceptualizing things, I feel it's very empowering and um, Another one is this, uh, this beautiful map here. This is the, the map of the playa at Burning Man. So that's Black Rock City. Um, this is what the, the layout of the land looks like at Burning Man. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a hammock. And uh, I like to see this this network of people and groups and ideas that is growing all over the world through the internet, not necessarily as a web, which is known for trapping things, but as a hammock, which is this beautiful, supportive, swaying network of interconnected uh, nodes and connection points. And uh, Black Rock City or Burning Man is a perfect example of a supportive hammock like that. And I'm gonna post a link to this absolutely incredible TED Talk, which explains the magic of Burning Man. I am so excited and grateful for all the support in going to Burning Man 2011 and also 2012. And tickets are on sale for 
the main sale goes for at least another week. It's kind of this lottery process. I highly encourage you, if you want to just take a leap into the mysterious unknown, just buy a ticket and then let the universe guide you there. Um, it's so absolutely incredible. Um, so once again, these are just some, some quick metaphors and things. A lot of the videos we have on our channel are all about these new forms of language, new concepts to make the concave, convex, new metaphors to open up better doors and going on mental tours. Uh, I like to come up with things that rhyme. I like to call them mantra memes, things we can just repeat. I mean, we could, you could walk down the sidewalk singing those Dr. Seuss line, the ones who mind don't matter and the ones who matter don't mind. And it's just a way of reminding yourself what you most believe in or what you want to believe in and um, just reprogramming our way of, of seeing the world. It, it's so much fun. It's, uh, I love it all. Uh, <laughs> So anywho, the difference between being startled and fearful is a, is a very empowering distinction. And um, the ones who mind don't matter, the ones who matter don't mind. We are all embedded in this beautiful hammock which has so many different layers and I encourage you to build the hammock at your local level, uh, connect with people in your area through Evolver Network, through the Transition Town Network. There are so many people out there. We just have to connect and get together. Um, so there's much to be excited about. I'm working on creating philosophical.com, which will be an epicenter for all these different ideas and things. I would love any support or ideas you wanna share. So hit me up, send me a personal message share whatever you want. Please make a video response. Please share any metaphors or concepts or new language or concave convex concepts. <laughs> um, post them in the comments. Post it on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Phil's Ideas. Scoobily do. Life is awesome. You are awesome. Language is awesome. Concepts are awesome. Have a happy Thursday. Thanks for watching. Peace and love, Akuna Matata.